what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back hope you guys are enjoying these reactions today is tuesday for you guys but not for me i'm recording these on a saturday just finished just finished recording um four episodes of the walking dead now i'm on the second last kingdom video still got two more to go for tonight but as i said in the last reaction um this is eight episodes in in the season of the last kingdom so um is if episode seven is fire is episode seven is fire because that will be my last reaction tonight but if episode seven is fire if if it's like i can't wait then i'll record episode eight tomorrow which is sunday for me and you guys will see that episode on friday okay so um as a bonus because i said only four episodes but i'll give you guys five that that it's a season it's a season finale so if it's fire i'll give you that <laughs> okay but anyways let's go watch this reaction man if you don't know what's going on in the show right now uthrid has made his escape um by basically by ragnar begging for them not to kill him because he was a hostage um still trying to figure out who king albert is he's an enigma when it comes on to this freaking show and i'm still trying to peel back the layers to figure out who king alfred as a character in this show is so looking forward for more um you know uh, i'm looking forward to seeing more of the interactions in the show because this show is more so about interactions just like how um vikings were was where it's like it's more about the relationships that are built taken away you know in the show and it's the same thing here the dialogue is very important in this show and i'm listening to every word i might miss some things yeah but that's what's going to make me grow and love these characters and you know pick sides whatever i get biased when it comes on to tv shows i might like characters that you don't like you might like characters that I don't like. So that's just how it is. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Pretty boy Uthred, man. I'm ready. Let's get into it. I'll see you guys for the review. Okay, so that was a very joyful and very upsetting episode and i think i said much of what i wanted to say during the episode during the pauses hopefully you guys are not too mad at me about the pauses um not that i care that much anyways <laughs> if you're bad <laughs> but at the same time um yeah so utred took out uber very good fight very good fight i would say it's one of the more you know, you know, it's it was a decent it was a decent fight. Don't get me wrong. Film very good too, with the him cutting the ankles, then the finishing blow, put the axe in his hand. So even though, you know, Uber didn't like Uthrid Uhtred Jesus, um yeah. Even though he didn't like Uhtred, he's, you know, Uhtred still had that respect for him, respect for their culture. I mean, he grew up a Dane pretty much. So he has such profound respect for the Viking culture that he will not like, you get what I'm saying? But the thing that upset me the most about this, uh, you know, that was very cool to see. I'm so glad that Uda did not, Uda Sr., Good man, good man, you know, um, good guy, man, and I'm so glad that he kept his word and went to help Uhtred out just in time to for him not to be killed, so, yeah, pretty cool stuff, um, I don't know, man, like, a lot of people are going to disagree with, are probably going to disagree with my take during the episode when I was talking about how he burst into the room and blah, 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 and all that stuff. Listen, man, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care about customs in in a, in a lot of ways. A lot of these customs are so 
fucking dumb in the first place. It's so dumb. It's stupid to even think that people should be out here obeying these stupid customs. It's just, it's so dumb. Yes, you're a king. I admire that. It's just like how you would say, okay, would you burst into your boss's office like that? Yes, if somebody is taking my credit, I probably wouldn't burst the door open. You get what I'm saying? But I would definitely have a couple of words to my boss. You're damn right. You get what I'm saying? And then to be dismissed like that and then threatened with death and then be punished. Oh, draw your sword in front of the king or whatever. I know I know I know a pretty ugly woman um Alfred's wife. You know she wants to get rid of Uhtred, right? Because she's super religious. You know what I'm saying? And all of them don't even know that this dude, that this dude is cheating on you and, and shit like that. And you out here acting all tough. Oh, I hope. I hope. It, Uhtred, I think Uhtred already knows, actually. If I'm not mistaken. Doesn't he know about Alfred's cheating? I think he does. I think, I think the priest had hinted something towards... Um, to him about that uh, if i'm not mistaken but but at the end of the day man you know what i'm saying like that's me this dude is me in a nutshell when it comes on to anger i have very controlled anger you get what i'm saying he, you get what i'm saying like other than what happened at the end i think that i think um what he did at the end was kind of unwarranted in my opinion to kill the dude over trees <laughs> you know what i'm saying but at the same time i really you can understand that frustration can lead you to do certain things that you don't want to do or what you wouldn't normally do that is not something that Uhtred normally does so that was way out of character for him but it's the anger that drove him to the frustration of everything that is going on that he's been through just trying to get a little bit of do what's due to him you know what i'm saying it's just so frustrating, man. And I've been through the very exact same thing in my life. And I'm telling you, it's not an easy thing to get over, especially when if you're trying to build something and it's not, oh, it, it's against the grain. People are telling you, you can't, you can't, you can't. No, do it this way instead and doing it that way. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's, it's frustrating. And people don't think, oh, you shouldn't be frustrated over that. Just take the advice. Just take it. Just take it. You know what I mean? So it's just very frustrating to me to see that because it's that episode, the second half half of that episode just portrayed my life in a nutshell and what I had to deal with. And I mean, I'm not, that doesn't happen to me today because as I said before, if people do that to me now, I just tell them fuck off and get the fuck out of there. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's just when you when you get to that level where you're just like yo i don't give a shit about anything you have to say man like if you're not being positive around me and encouraging me to do things and stuff like that you you get what i'm saying i'm not saying that you if you see me going down a bad path you can't warn me you know, but don't tell me oh that's not the way to go and stuff like that what the fuck do you know if you haven't been in that situation how do you know? You've never been a businessman. You've never been an entrepreneur. How are you fucking telling me you nine to five little bitch? How are you telling me that this shit is not going to work? What right do you have to tell me this shit is not going to work for me? Hmm? Please tell me. You know, and this is what I'm trying to say, man. Um, I like to look at these shows and kind of parallel them with, with real life because a lot of stuff, yes, it's old stuff, but that shit still plays out today sometimes in, in if you put it into context. It still plays out the same way. People treat you like this. You get what I'm saying? Yes, King Alfred might have felt disrespected, and I totally understand why he would feel disrespected by Uther, but you gotta under also understand something from other people's perspective. Like if 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 you were in in his position, how would you feel? Hmm? How would you feel? If somebody, if you're just constantly being bombarded with, you know what I'm saying? This bitch ass little boy. Oda, Oda. Oh my God. Oh, he's a heathen. He's a this, he's a that. You, you, you 
don't understand how many times in my life because I grew up in the church. I grew up in the church, man. And I tell you this, man, people will look at you and tell you all kinds of stuff about yourself. And I'm like, all I did was make a decision. Why are you making it seem like I'm condemned for life? I made a mistake. Y'all make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I don't even know how to talk about this because it makes me so upset and stuff. And then, and now the wife is being annoying, Mildred. Now she is being annoying now. You know what I'm saying? With this churchy, churchy, churchy stuff and this prayer, prayer, prayer stuff. Like, I get it, man. But for me, I always tell people, you believe in God, know him for yourself, man. Know him for yourself. Don't let other people dictate how you serve God. Know him for yourself. Know him for yourself. Ask him, what do you need of me? That's what I do. Ugh, man. Anyways, guys, I got to go do some more episodes. So I'll see you guys for the next one. See you guys tomorrow for another episode of The Last Kingdom. If you like my reaction, of course, leave a like on the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. And I will catch you guys later, man. Peace.